In this problem, we have to find the area of the region here. So let's go ahead and work through it. So the area of this region is going to be the definite integral. And we're going to go from 0 to 2. So it's x values, left to right. So 0 to 2. And all we have to do is integrate this. So it's 2 over the square root of 16 minus x squared dx. So the area under the graph is given by the definite integral from 0 to 2, left to right, and x values of this expression here. So there is a formula we can use. Recall, if you have 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx, this is equal to the arc sine of x over a plus our constant of integration, capital C. So here all we have to do maybe is pull out the 2 and rewrite the 16 in a convenient way. So I'll do it, I'll do it down here. So we have 2 integral, 1 over, and let's write the 16 as 4 squared. So 4 squared minus x squared dx. And let's not forget our limits of integration, which were 0 and 2. So just rewriting the 16 as 4 squared and pulling out the 2. All right, let's apply the formula. So this will be 2 arc sine of, and this will be x over a, so x over 4. And we don't need the c because it's a definite integral. So you can use a line, you can use a bracket, or you can go all out and use a double bracket. Let's take that approach. And so we're going from 0 to 2. All right, good stuff. So first we plug in the 2, so we get 2 arc sine of 2 over 4 minus 2 arc sine of 0 over 4. I didn't skip any steps. I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and show every little step. So first you plug in the 2, then you subtract, then you plug in the 0. So this is equal to 2 arc sine of 1 half minus 2 arc sine of 0. So these are angles that I, I suppose you should know. So uh, the arc sine of 1 half is pi over 6. So if you don't know that, um, you can think about it like this. So arc sine of 1 half. So, so what is it? What is the arc sine of 1 half? So you can call it y. You say, okay, if the arc sine takes 1 half and sends it to y, that means the sine function takes y and sends it back to 1 half. So we have that the sine of y uh, is equal to 1 half. And y is in negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. You might say, how do you know that? That's the range of arc sine. Whenever you do something like this, your y is in the range of arc sine. So you should totally... Um, memorize this, right? The range of arc sine is this. The range of arc cosine is 0 pi, another really useful uh, thing to know. Anyways, you're looking for the y value uh, in this interval where the sine of y is equal to, pi, to, to 1 half. So y is equal to pi over 6. Just from memory, that's just from pure memory, uh, just brute force memorization. I'm not a big fan of memorization, but this is one of those instances where uh, it's just worth knowing. So we have this. And the arc sine of 0 is 0. Same reason, sine of 0 is 0, so arc sine of 0 is also 0, so 2 times 0. So you get 2 times pi over 6, so you get pi over 3 minus 0, so you get pi over 3. So the answer is pi over 3. That's the area. I kind of derailed a little bit here, uh, trying or attempting to explain uh, that the arc sine of 1 half is pi over 6. But this, this is a holding point for people. This is something that people have a hard time with. If you have a calculator, you can put it in your calculator. However, your calculator will give you a decimal. And in this case, uh, it should give you 0.5. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a moment here and just let me just try it. So let me make sure my calculator is in uh, radian. And I'm going to try arc sine of uh, 1 half. And I get 0. 0.5235. But if I, if I type in pi over 6 in my calculator, I get the same thing. So your calculator will give you a decimal. And then you can mess around with the calculator to see if you know, it matches your decimal. It's kind of cheesy, uh, but it does work. So again, if you put this in your calculator, you'll get 0.5 to you know, 4, I'll round. 
And then if you put pi over 6 in your calculator, you'll get the same thing, 0.524. So you can mess around until you figure out which angle it is. I mean, if you're stuck, you know it's going to be pi over 3 or pi over 6. So just mess with it until you get an exact answer because an exact answer is important. You do not want to give uh, decimal answers in these types of problems. I hope this video has been helpful.